What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, we are going to talk about the Joe random missions to get Pepe Alizar. A lot of you guys have been hitting me up on Twitter, on Twitch, on YouTube about the fact that you guys are getting close to finishing up the Dynasty program with the new programs today. A lot of you guys are going to unlock Joe Random, which leads to Pepe Alizar. So that brings us to our video today. I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to complete each of these missions. I have screenshots for some of them. I didn't have screenshots for all of them, but I can give you tips on how to get through them, especially in my opinion, the hardest one, this Miguel Cabrera. You guys really, that, that, that's really why I'm making this video is to teach you guys how to do this mission because this mission can be really, really tough. All right, so let's get into it here. Now, the first mission that you have with Joe Random is you need uh, the 10 hits and the 25 putouts in Ranked Seasons, Battle Royale, or Events. So this is one of the online missions. There's online missions and there's offline missions. Um, this one, what you need to do is you need to put Joe Random at first base. You want to put him at first base. Getting the 10 hits is going to take some time. But when you put him at first base, you're going to get the putouts quickly. Uh, so you need to put him at first base. He's not the worst. You'd be surprised. He's not like the worst defender at first base, even though he is technically a center fielder. So, you know, but just put him at first base. That's what you need to do. Put him in your lineup. Go online. Play with him. Uh, I'd bat him first, honestly, so he gets as many at-bats as possible. I wouldn't try to bring him off the bench or anything like that. Just put him in at first. Let him get the putouts. Try to get the hits. Now, the second one is match Lou Brock stats from Game 6 of the 1967 World Series. Uh, these stats aren't too hard. I actually made like a little Microsoft uh, Word notes here. I believe it is like one stolen base, three RBIs, one home run, two hits, and two runs scored. I don't have a screenshot of this one because it only took me one game to complete. And you can play this one offline. What I recommend you do here is play like the, the Phillies or the Padres or somebody like that. Play him at Shide Park. Power swing so you can get that home run. It's not too bad. This one, I, you know, it took me one game. It might take you a couple games. It's not a hard one at all. So there's not too much to worry about with this one. Now the third one is matching the stats of Vita Blues uh, pitching hardware stats for his uh, with hardware series pitching items. Pretty much my tip here is you need to fill your rotation with hardware pitchers and you also need to get hardware pitchers in your bullpen so that you can pitch as many innings with them as possible. Um, so when you're going to your bullpen, you need to have hardware relievers coming in because you just want to get as many of those stats as possible. Now, Epic 4 is matching the stats of Cal's MVP season in 1991 with hardware player items. Um, so this one you'll be able to use like the cow that you have from the dynasty program. Uh, I used like Andrew McCutcheon. Um, I used I think like Willie Stargell, um, or Willie McCovey, excuse me, of the Giants. I want to say he's one off the top of my head. I'd have to like go back through and look at some of the other ones I used, and I'll probably I can answer those in the comments below. But again, you need all hardware players. I'd almost recommend keeping those hardware pitchers in there if you can still stand to pitch with them after you pitch with them a lot because that's going to get you more at bats and that's just going to help you out. So consider keeping the hardware pitchers in there. Make sure you got hardware guys on your bench so when you pinch hit, you can do that. Now, uh, the fifth one is uh, playing against the computer with Bob Feller. You got to get 14 strikeouts and you have to do it in one game. You gotta throw a complete game shutout. This one only took me one game as well. I think I just played against the Phillies again and uh, it was pretty easy, man. Like this is another one like the Lou Brock where it's not that bad. Like it's just, it's like a one game, maybe two, maybe three, but it's not hard. Just play the computer on rookie and get the 14 case for the shutout. Now, this one is where it gets really tricky. Four hits four runs, three home runs, five RBIs, and one walk in a game. And this one is really tough. Um, this one was very, very tough. Uh, Nefta Don, uh, he gave me some great advice. He told me it took him like four days to get it done. Uh, I know this one was tough for Bangal as well. And this one was tough for me as well, but we did figure out, uh, there's a really good strat of how to do this. 
All right, so your first thing that you're probably thinking is, all right, let's go to Shad Park and or something like that. Here's what you want to do is you want to go to play against the computer and you want to play against the computer and you want to play against the Yankees because when I look at the stadiums, the Yankee Stadium right field is not that much different than Shad Park. And you're going to play on rookie, so it's not going to matter too much whether or not uh, you know, like who, you know, whoever the Yankees are pitching. Now you need your bullpen to be stacked because you're going to go on a very long game here. I think mine took 26 innings. It took like three or four hours. I did like take a couple breaks during the game uh, when I was playing it. But basically, what you're going to do is, uh, you know, you're going to get as many at bats in one game for that Miguel Cabrera as possible. And by doing so, you're going to be able to get all the stats that we talked about. You know, the four hits, the four runs, the three home runs, the five RBIs, and the one walk. And since you're on the road, you can kind of control how long the game goes. So when you get the home runs and the runs and the RBIs and stuff like that, you just intentionally walk the computer until there's, you know, make sure you have two outs before the bases are loaded or whatever you need to do to keep the score tied. And that's where your bullpen and rookies are really going to come in handy because then you need to strike them out or get the out. And you just keep the game tied for as long as possible until you get the four hits, the four runs, the three home runs, the five RBIs on one walk. In your first at bat, if you don't really do anything with Miggy, and bat Miggy lead off, by the way, if you don't do anything, like you don't get one of the stats, probably quit and start over. But you really, at the same time, don't have to because the game's going to go on, like I said, for 26 innings. Uh, power swing, I power swing, and I try to hit it to right field over that short field, uh, over that short wall. Once you get the walk, you're really golden. Like Once you get the walk on rookie, you're really golden. You just got to make sure you keep the score tied for as long as you can. And uh, this didn't take me too long, but what was really just took me a long time was to figure out the right strategy, you know, of what to do. And I'm telling you, play at Yankees, be on the road, be the away team. You'll be forced to pick their stadium, but that's fine. Hit it to right field, hit it over the right field wall, and get the home runs that way. And uh, you'll get the hits and the runs. Uh, with your other guys, you know, you can either bunt or you can contact swing um, and just get a couple singles to kind of move through the order faster but you don't want to hit home runs so you don't have to keep loading the bases and walking them in but you want to keep the score tied i hope this makes sense if it doesn't let me know down in the comments below but i think that's as good as i can uh, describe it um so let's go back to the missions again because there's two more after the miggy mission once you get the miggy mission done you're really far and if you've made it this far and really want to get this program done like the whole thing isn't too bad. It's definitely a different type of grind compared to everything else. But after you get the Miggy mission done, there is one more thing. You have to match the stats of Jackie Robinson's 1949 MVP season with live series player items. And it has to be online with ranked seasons, battle royale, or events games. So it's pretty much the same as the other hardware. Make sure you have an entire live series lineup. Make sure you have an entire live series bench. Make sure you have entire live series players. Uh, excuse me, pitchers, make sure you have a, an entire live series bullpen as best you can so that they get the at-bats um, to get the stats for Jackie Robinson. And then after that, you're done. You got Pepe Alizar. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will talk to you guys in the next video. I'm going to talk about these new programs that just came up. And uh, let's take a quick sneak peek at this Robinson program. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.